upland stability. Um, since I was talking a little bit about upland boat speed, I think that's a pretty useful thing to look at. Uh, this is from the UC Santa Barbara. Center, this is Stephen and Bailey, who also used to kick my ass. So uh, again, going back to the if somebody beats you, try to steal whatever they're doing strategy. Um, these guys have a lot of useful videos. Uh, these are in FJs again, so you know this is like 12 knots of wind. It's super blurry, um, but that's fine for what we're using it for. Um, this is in about like 12 knots of wind, which for us would be like six or seven knots in the JY. It's the point where you're just like having your butt over the rail. You're not even thinking about trapping yet. Um, it's actually a really nice amount of wind for the JY. So before we watch this, it's important to to figure out what is their goal in this maneuver. So this is upwind boat speed. So this is on a race course through sailing, you know, maximum BMG, maximum velocity made good. Um, so you're sailing as close as you can sail to the wind while still having really good speed. And there's a little bit of wiggle room with that. Like we talked about, some of you have been there, there's modes where you can sail high and slow if you're trying to make a buoy, low and fast if you think there is good wind on one side of the course or you're trying to get out from underneath somebody who's covering you. Um, but this is just kind of your stock standard, like middle gear, as fast as possible, while still going upwind. So in order to do this, stability is really important, right? So if you're constantly like moving the tiller back and forth, you're going to be going slow. If you're constantly moving your body back and forth, you're going to be going slow. If your sails are constantly going in and out, um, unless they have to because you're fully hiked and you can't hold in that power, you're going to be going really slow. Um, so what you can see here is just looking at the, the boat, like, yes, there's, there's waves, so it's moving around a little bit and the skipper is steering to try to maintain speed through the waves, because if you hit a wave dead on, you lose a lot of speed, but really the boat is remarkably stable. The sails aren't moving in and out at all. The jib is really stable. The main is really stable. Um, other than some small tiller movements, just to steer around the waves they're staying really stable. And you can see from where they are with the rest of the fleet, these guys are moving super fast. They're definitely crushing everybody else. So this is the boat to watch, right? The boat that's beating everyone else is the one to watch when it comes to boat handling stuff. Um, so looking, starting at the boat, like great, great movement out of the boat, really stable, looks fast. Um, if you could see the telltales, I bet they're streaming pretty much all the time. So that's what we're looking for with the boat. So. If you were to go out and practice upwind boat speed on yourself, or maybe go out with a friend, you take out a boat, they take out a different boat. Um, you could tell them if they're doing a good job based on how stable their boat looks, how, um, how well they're pointing up wind. And uh, we're just assuming, we can't tell where the wind's coming from in this video, but we're assuming they're holding that, that true upwind course. I see with a lot of you guys that you actually sail maybe 10, 15 degrees too low, especially in light wind. It can be really hard to figure out if you're pointing truly upwind. Um, and that comes down to constantly trying to adjust yourself, like always be trying to get that little bit more upwind, um, make sure that you're really sailing that close hold course. So we're gonna watch it again, this time looking at the sailors. So we'll start with the crew. Um, crew is super stable, butt is over the side of the boat. Um, looks like the middle of the foot is under the hiking strap. Middle of the foot to toes is a good part to get under the hiking strap. Um, that way you get really good leverage. If you've got like, middle of your shin under the hiking strap, you're not getting your body out over the water as far as you could. And the crew should be doing the majority of the hiking since the skipper has so many jobs. The crew really is like the one who should be driving the boat in terms of handling wind and gusts and um, just power. That should be the crew. Um, so the crew is super stable. Um, they're in a place where if they needed to hike hard on a puff, they could. Um, looks pretty comfortable. So looking at the skipper, um, all the way shifted forward in the boat, which is great. That's keeping the transom out of the water, which stops them from getting sucked in. I'm gonna start it over again right now. Um, so yeah, really good, like four far board in the boat. Um, butt is over the rail, which is great. You know, you want your butt over the water as much as you can. And uh, rounded back, so they're not hiking super hard. They don't really need to. Tiller and uh, main sheet are both right in front of their stomach or chest, which is really good. That allows you to two-hand sheet. Um, and it also means that if you need to spring out, you can spring out. Whereas if you have your tiller somewhere else, 
um, it's a lot harder to adjust if you need to do anything. So I really like that. Uh, it looks like their tuning's pretty good, like their outhaul and everything looks great because they're really stable. You know, you don't, if you aren't fully hiking, you shouldn't be tightening your outhaul too much um, or trying to ease your sheet. So I really like that the sheet's stable, body position looks good, tiller movements are really subtle, you know, just trying to steer through those waves. So that's great boat speed, definitely. And I think it's, it's something to strive for, to be this stable in a boat, especially with this many waves. You know, this is mixed like wind chop and ocean waves. So to be this stable and have that little rocking is really great. You can also see the boat's like pretty much dead flat. It's maybe a little bit heeled. Um, one thing that's really cool is that when they need to steer up, rather than pushing hard down with the tiller, they're just kind of letting the, the boat being heeled steer them up a little bit and then kind of flattening on that. So um, kind of like a rudderless style on that, if that makes sense. 